So you are on H1B visa and unfortunately you get laid off. You technically have 60 days left to find another job. You are on day 55 and you're not sure if you're going to be able to make it within that 60 days. But you do have some interviews lined up and you are like 5 days left and wondering if there is any hope. How can I legally stay in United States? Well, the answer is there is a hope and that's what we are going to talk about in this video. Let's go. What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, my name is Yuri. On this channel we talk about studying in United States, career wellness, immigration and personal finance. And in this video we're going to talk about if you're on H1B visa, you lost your job and you have 60 days left and on day 55 you're wondering what are your options and how can you legally stay in United States while you're still interviewing to try to find another job. Well, the answer is B1 B2 visa. Before we get started, I want to put a quick disclaimer that I'm not an immigration lawyer, so please can take this as an educational and informational purpose and you should consult an immigration lawyer for your specific case. All right, let's start with the very basics. Layoffs are very common in the corporate world, especially in the tech world. If you anything 2023 has shown you, Google, Amazon, Facebook, Microsoft, everyone is laying off. So, and you might be on H1B visa while you are getting laid off and if that happens then you legally stay in United States for 60 days that is given now obviously as soon as you lose your job your first focus is going to be finding another job so that way the new company when you get a job will do the change of status for you and you can you know they can take over the H1B status but job market might not be in your favor and you are trying to find a job you are on day 55 day 59 and you are like okay i'm not able to find a job but i have several interviews lined up and i know for sure that one of those interviews will convert into a full time job but i just need more time to legally stay in united states because after day 60 you become illegally you're illegally staying in united states so what is your way before you hear it from me let's hear it from the immigration lawyer himself because people are getting laid off and sometimes it takes more than 60 days for h1b l1 o1 type people to to get another yeah. employment uscs has said you can apply for a b1 b2 and keep looking for a job just don't work without authorization on 59th day you call me in complete panic and you say what the hell am i going to do man today is tomorrow is my 60th day Right. I will tell you. Go online, file form I five thirty nine asking for a B one B two online, because okay. that is filed today and received today. So that is interesting, right? And I asked him like, okay, so I can technically apply for B one B two visa online, like you said. Will it get approved during the same time or same day? And here's what he said: We do we receive the decision as no. on the same day. Okay, come in so seven, eight, nine, ten months. All right, so that gives you the context a little bit. That B one B two, you have applied, and it will be in the pending state, or like it will be in that approval state. You don't know; it might take six months, eight months, nine months, however long it takes. But it gives you permission to legally stay in United States and continues to do your job work. I do want to mention you cannot work because you do not have work authorization. You have to get a job, get your H one B approved, and then only you can work. So I asked, like, okay, so what happens to my legal status? Because I lose after day sixty, I lose my H one B, and B one B two is not approved. So what happens to my legal status? Here's what he said: What is what happens to my status? Is it on H one or is it on B one B two or like there's you a temporary? You are legal to stay. You are legal to stay because you are in between two statuses, mm. which is called authorized period of stay. Got Waiting it. Okay. for the timely filed application to be decided. Perfect. So now you are on day seventy or day seventy five, and you are like, okay, I all those job interviews that that were lined up. Uh, one of the companies offered you and is willing to of also sponsor your H one B. Like what now? Like what are your options? What do you do at that point of time? Because your B one B two is still not approved, and you have completely done with H one B because your day sixty is over. So what do you do at that point of time? And here's what he said: I'll do two things. Okay. If I were the lawyer on the case, I would apply for status within USA. I would say, Mr. USCIS, um, please give me H one B, even though I'm not in H one B. I'm in authorized period of stay in between two statuses, kind of a suspense status. But these are circumstances beyond my control. There's mm -hmm. a, an, an exception uh, to status required uh, for further status, and that exception is circumstances beyond my control. If they say no, they'll make me go outside get a visa stamp. That's the worst that can happen. But if the B one B two is already ruled in your favor, then we'll give you H one B within U S. If it's pending or denied, go outside, come back. 
if it is ruled in your favor you are good to go so there you go that is your best option if you are in that particular situation i hope that it gives you a hope a little bit and if you have any further question on this topic please let me know in the comment section we will do a follow up video if we hear back your questions and we can ask that question to immigration lawyer if you find this video well helpful and valuable i'm pretty sure you will find this video which is about what can you do on h1b visa or f1 visa can you do investments and not here's the video you can go and check it out i will see you guys in the next one until then keep smiling and keep us and you got to hustle every single day